Hi everyone, today I am going to explain to you how to solve a problem that involves derivative. Okay, so how do you find the uh, solution for this type of problem or you can also have a second order? Second derivative. Okay, to finding the solution by approximation, you have numerical differentiation. Okay, so for instance, let's say if fx equals to sine x, I can find this derivative easily, taking the derivative of the respect to x. gives me cos x. Now this is my f prime x. Okay. Now how if there is another way to find this derivative? Okay, that's what we're gonna look at in this in this topic, numerical differentiation, where we want to use numerical approach to find the derivative. Okay? So consider, let's begin with by considering the Taylor series of this fx plus h. Okay, by Taylor series, I'm sure um, some of you know how to find the Taylor series. If you forgot, please refer to um, any video or any notes on how to find the Taylor series. But this will give you a, a quick picture. So Taylor series of f x plus h series in terms of h gives me f of x plus h f prime x plus h two over two factorial f double prime x and so on okay so, and we can also find f x uh, minus minus h this gives f x minus h f prime x plus h2 over 2 factorial f double prime x up to higher power of h okay now since i just want the first derivative okay since i just want f prime x i'm going to find the solution for um, this particular problem just f prime x i need to only consider up to here Okay, if you have second derivative, then you'll consider up to f, f double prime. Okay, so just consider this equation here. f x plus h equals to f x plus h f prime x. So if I write in terms of h f prime x, I have fx plus h minus with fx. Therefore, I have f prime x is given by fx plus h minus fx divided by h. Okay, this is also known as forward difference now I'm gonna call this forward difference as d1 x h okay now similarly I can have a central difference by By cancelling out 
taking equation 1 minus with equation 2. So 1 minus 2. I remember, I'm just considering up to f prime x. Okay, obviously you have this term, but you're ignoring it at this moment. So this minus this, I have f x plus h minus f x minus h now this term will be cancels out now h minus this will be 2h f prime x now writing in terms of f prime x you have f x plus h minus f x minus h Divide by 2h. Okay, so I have now this equation which is also known as central difference. Okay, and um, I want to write this as d2. Okay, so we have obtained the approximation to this, for this f prime x, to approximation, which is my d1 and d2. Okay, the forward difference and the central difference uh, equation. Okay, we want to use that to show how you can obtain this approximation okay let's look at one example here example that we consider earlier on okay so i have fine okay okay first question okay fine f prime x for fx equals to sine x take h equals to 0 0.4 find the value for x equals to pi over 3. Okay, let's find the exact solution first and then we start from that. Okay, the exact solution here. Okay, for um, fx, f prime x, derivatives of this will give me cos x. Now, what is f prime pi over 3 f prime pi over 3 which is cos pi over 3 give me 0 0.5 okay, let's give up to 5 decimal places here okay so now this is what do you call this this is the exact solution i don't have to use any numerical method i can just find the derivative easily now let's say i can get close to the exact solution by using d1 and d2 formula that's on make go okay now let's use d1 okay we know the d1 formula is given by f x plus h minus f x divide by h Okay, so all I, all I need to do is plug in some values and I should be able to get the answer. Okay, let's see. D1, x is pi over 3, h is 0 0.4. So I have, this is f, okay? You have to look into the main uh, equation given. Okay, don't get confused. This is f prime. Now, D1 is equivalent to D1 is my f prime in a numerical way where we have expanded this using Taylor series. 
Okay, this is a function fx, so sine x, so sine x plus h. So we have sine x plus h minus sine x divided by h sine where x is pi over 3 plus 0 0.4 minus sine pi remember you, you must have your calculation handy here h 0 0.4 okay if you have a uh, calculator or any software you can evaluate this quickly remember sine pi over 3 this should be in radian okay by pressing the calculator i have my solution 0 0.31565 okay so this is my exact solution by using d1 i got 0 0.31 so if you look at the error, I'm calling it the numerical error, which is um, exact minus approximation or approximation. So absolute value 0 0.5 minus 0 0.315865. My error is 0 0.184 and something. Okay. Okay, there's five decimal places, so just remove, remove one zero here. It's quite big, right? Okay, let's find D2. Now, using D2, X, H, we have F, X plus H minus F, X minus H divided by 2H. Okay, so I have Sine pi over 3 plus 0 0.4 minus sine pi over 3 minus 0 0.4 divided by 2 times 0 0.4. Okay, just use the calculator to press this. Um, um, to find the values for the equation. Uh, I, I should get 0 0.48. Six, seven, seven. Closer. Central difference. Okay, be closer to the exact solution. Now, what's the error? The error is zero point five minus zero point four eight six seven seven. So it gives me zero point zero one three two. Okay, so the error here is closer. I mean, smaller, smaller than this D one uh, numerical error. But um, okay, obviously D two D two gives smaller error. Than D1. Okay, but we can use um, forward and central difference. Uh, forward and central difference to find the uh, solution for the derivative that we have asked for, such as sine x. Okay, now you can ask me a question then, but the errors are still not very accurate. Okay, so what we do here. So this is the um you can you can um find a work from home. So by using a different set of h values, don't the h values is a value you decide to approximate. So you start with zero point four. Now same approach you use zero point two and zero point zero four. So find both for d one and d two. Okay, and compare them, you can see that the error is getting closer and closer. I mean, smaller and smaller, and the solution is getting closer and closer to 0 0.5. Okay, this is your homework. Okay, that's all. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.